over the place But I can't find it So where have my face gone? Got stuff sticking out Creating latex teeth using Play-Doh Flatten it Push it onto your teeth And make sure your teeth makes a solid mark in the dough Refine it a little if you want to And then pour on the latex let it dry and pour on another layer of latex and you should have pretty latex teeth. The additional bone parts in this tutorial were created the same way as in the Diana reptile makeup, using clay and latex, so check that out to see the details. Putting a little bit of Vaseline on the brows here to make sure they don't come off along with the latex later on. Apply some latex and a cotton pad to cover the eye. Secure it with additional latex and then head on for your pre-made bone parts. And as we said, they are created the same way as the mask in the Diana Reptile makeup. So check it out if you haven't already. Apply the pieces using latex. Pieces of bone in Swedish. Ben bitar. That's one word. Ben bitar. Never separate those words in Swedish. And then again, secure them firmly with another layer of latex. And it's the same procedure with the teeth. We're splitting this in two to be able to move the mouth a little. Next up, the difficult to find product, Sculpt Gel. But you can always use 3rd degree, cotton pads and latex, or yeah, paper tissues and latex, for that matter. Smudge it on there to create the edges and the flappy skin. Smoothing edges with Vaseline. Then go on with the red paint job or whatever color you want. Darkening around the eye here. Brushing the teeth a little. And then painting in some dark color between them to make them pop out. Then we're going to use two colors of yarn, one red and one darker red, to create uh, some muscle fibers. Attach them using latex. Split them up a little to make tiny blood vessels and apply them too with latex on the face. Face in Swedish, ansikte, or locally known as nuna. some additional paint job and then we powder up 
And then we head on for foundation, covering the sculpt gel and the edges. Mixing and bruising a little with the red color along the edge as well. And now it's time to create a fake eyebrow. Using spirit gum and some uh, fine brown thready hairy thing, whatever you find. We found this piece of rope. Maybe you can shave a cat or something. Anything you, do, <laughs> anything you like to just get the hair. And by the way, shaving a cat is not Ellie approved. You might want to do a paint job fixer upper on the brow to uh, make them match. And then shade the eye socket a little. Continuing with blood along the edges. This makeup actually works without the blood as well. Some sponge. little smudging in the edges of the skin. And there you have your torn off face with exposed skeleton parts. Subscribe today and don't miss out on the fun.